$1,314. Number one is Beach Hop, owned by Elizabeth Isaac of Flushing, Michigan. Merritt Doki is the driver. Number two, Stand Happy Life, from the Bill Sanders of Stevenson, Alabama, with Del Miller. Three, Cathedral.com, owned by the Newman Racing Stable, the Elegant Stable, and Samson Street Stable, Dave Miller. Up. Here's the four, Eternal Justice, some of the Miller Brothers Stable of Hammond, Ohio, and Doc Miller of Delta, Ohio. Drivers change, Eric Lentford, Lentford. Five, Abby's alibi by Dale Decker of Michigan and uh, Jeffrey Grimes of Erie, Michigan. Drivers change to John Campbell. Campbell. The sixth, Lady with the Future, owned by Iris Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York, driven by Sam Chip Noble. And number seven, Janelle Mindell, owned by Coran's Stable of Northfield, Ohio, Dave Hawk is the great first division. Two-year-old Philly Pacers in the standard brand, lining up, moving in. The great and a stretch. Here they come. They're off, Cathedral.com, racing out for the lead, that happy life on the inside, coming away with her in second. Lady with the future, leaving aggressively on the outside, Beach Hop on the inside, reserving a spot in fourth. Three lengths in five is Eternal Justice, another three lengths, six as they swing to the back stretch. It's Abby's alibi, trailing Janelle Mindell. Approaching the quarter mile marker, Cathedral.com, but to tangle early, it's Tim Noble with Lady with the Future. Quarter time with 28 seconds flat, and Lady with the Future, sprinting on by, will take the lead from Cathedral.com. And Happy Life on the inside is now back to third. Beach Hawk continues the gap in fourth. Inside five, it's Eternal Justice, followed by Abby's alibi, and the trailer, Janelle Mindale. They come to the half, and here comes Miller with Cathedral.com. Back out to retake the lead, and Cathedral.com easily taking command. Lady with the feature, now back in the pocket in second. Half time is 57 and 3. Here comes Lunford with Eternal Justice, charging first up on the outside, while fourth is now third. Gap in the cover slightly. Abby's alibi, locked and shuffled fifth now, stand happy life, and to the other flow, Janelle Mindale, the trailer is beach pop to the back stretch. It's Cathedral.com with the lead. Eternal Justice applying pressure on the outside. Lady with the future. Gapping the leader on the inside is racing in third. Abby's alibi on the outside. Second over fourth. Three quarters, 127 and two. Midway to the far turn. Inside Cathedral.com and right there matching strides. It's Eternal Justice. On the outside, Abby's alibi still in contention. Third as they turn for home. And now Cathedral.com is pulling away. Cathedral.com by a length and a half two. Eternal Justice, one final try as they come to deep stretch. Cathedral.com will win it. Eternal Justice finishing second. Abby's alibi with third. 156. The first division of the standard bread for Trio Philly Pacers, a very impressive Philly. Number three, Cathedra.com. A brown Philly by Presidential Ball from the great race mare, Cathedra, by Run the Table. Over the Newman Racing Stable, the Elegant Stable, and Samson Street Stable, Chris Ryder trained. David Miller picks up his 97th through win here at Delaware, second for the day. The mile, 156, three for Cathedra.com as she scores six of seven lifetime. Miller looking for that extra $50 paddock fee here as well, Ellie, leading the horse in <laughs> the winner circle. And Cathedral.com looks a little bit fractious as the uh, caretaker makes the journey over in the golf cart from the back paddock area. And Chris Ryder actually came to this country because his wife, who's an accountant, got a job here. So he tagged along and tried to get into the horse business and said it was slow going at first, but things have really taken off for him. It was, and, and Chris is an excellent horseman. Uh, he has patience and time for the youngsters, which they definitely need to uh, develop. And you can see his production out on the track, and a very nice man. You know, we've always talked about the, how good some of these gentlemen are for the sports, and Chris is right up there at the top of the list. 